Hello everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. You know me, I'm Tom here at the Off Grid Farm. Oh yeah, man, what a beautiful day. And yes, you can see all the chemtrails. They're everywhere now. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> we got chemtrails. And I mean, they're everywhere. I'm being bombarded by pollutants. That's what's happening. <laughs> uh, all right, back to what I'm really doing up here. Okay, I've decided, hey guys, I've decided that I'm finally going to get a project started that I've been uh, putting off for years. Now, there's somewhat of a debate on what I'm going to do because I've always wanted to build a small little rustic log cabin at the back two acres back by the creek. And that's why I've been doing all that clearing back there. And, and now that I got the property lines established, they're legal. I know exactly where I can put a cabin without any inter interference from anyone. So, in reality, now I've got to decide, do I want to build a cabin back there, which would be pretty cool, to be honest with you, be really cool, some little place you can go back, get, hang out, have a little fire pit, you know, just a cool little thing. But the big thing is I didn't want to spend any money on the lumber or anything like that. So, here's the deal. I've been saving up lumber for a long time, as you guys know already, right? Oh yeah, I've been saving up lumber. Well, I decided to go through everything, and here is what I found. Okay, remember all that heart pine that I bought at the estate sale? Well, I'm going through it now. Now, this has been sitting out here in this big old pile over here that I had for years. At least three years it's been sitting there. And I was thinking, okay, this stuff's going to rot. But I'll be honest with you, this stuff's some 100-year-old stuff and as solid as hell. Look at this, a true two by six. True two by six. I measured them. I wanted to make sure. And I got purlings in here, one by four. And I mean, there, look at, look at, the, look at the condition, man. Look at the grain. And this has been sitting outside when I bought it, it was under a shelter, okay? It was all under a shelter. So now, I've got a bunch of lumber. And, and I, I knew I had a bunch here, but I've got a lot of heavy-duty stuff in here. All that 2 by 6 In fact, this one is a 2 by 6 and a quarter. You know, and there's a bunch of them in there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. I got fourteen two by sixes. Okay, fourteen of them. So that's that's pretty good right there. And then I got a bunch of these two by uh, seven and three quarters. Not a bunch, but I got a few of these, like about five. I think I got about five of these big ones. And look at all these planks. One by nine and three quarters. So basically almost one, one by 10. And this is all hard pine, every bit of it. Okay. Big stack. A lot of it. And oh yeah, there's some more two by sixes, some big long ones. All right, so we got a bunch of the two by sixes, and they they are meat. They are meaty, man. These are hundred year old pine trees. Now this is a scrap pile I started because I still got to have some fencing material. This is old standard board over here. There's nothing fancy. This is just a pile of scrap lumber. I've got a couple of old heart pines here. Uh, if I had to dig them out, I just threw them over here for time being. But that's the stack right there. I'm getting ready to do this, and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, I got this load that I'm bringing down here. What I'm what I'm going to do is uh, is get this stuff under a cover. I need to I need to start really uh, try to preserve this lumber because it's so damn expensive. Okay, this is not cheap stuff. And in other words, you have to tear down a barn to get it. And if you go out and buy this material or this type of lumber, you're not going to find it. It's just not out there. This is just the, the old regular pine board dipped in, in you know, all kinds of uh, chemicals. That's all it is. 
All right, so now here's the other stack I got going right now. All right, here we go. All right, this is some big stuff in here too. Now this is, this. there's only one, two, three pieces of hard pine in this stack. This is all Joyce, this is what I salvaged off a deck job, okay? And they, they're just big long pieces. These are all right at 10, 10 footers. You know, there might be, you know, come variation in there, 10 and eight footers in there. And I got that big, big six by six right there. That's a little twisted, but I could still use it. See, that's the thing. All this lumber is usable. And this is all, this is all one and a half by 10 and one and a half by eight. And then I got this monster stack of air dried Georgia Hart Pine deck boards. And I'm starting to collect other stuff. Four by four scraps here and there. So I think, I think between this load here, that load there, and of course, all the stuff that's in the truck, oh yeah, plus I got all this over here too. All the CMU block. Which will which will go a long ways in putting together a foundation. I got all that CMU block. Now the thing about it is, is tin. Tin is very very expensive for a roof. But I got that big stack of shingles, which shingles are pretty. I can get those pretty cheap, and there's nothing wrong with shingles. And I got a whole pack down there, so I got quite a few. I can get started anyway, and I've already got a roll of felt right there. So, you know, there, 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 there's the start of a project. Plus, I've been saving all this down here, which is two by sixes and four by fours. This gives me four by sixes and four by fours. So there's a bunch of them in there too. So you see where I'm going with this. I've already got a pretty decent amount of lumber out here that I can frame out, literally frame out a small log cabin. Now, it doesn't have to be big. That's the one thing. I'll, I'll base it on the dimensions of the, the redneck end, you know, but, of course, have a really cool front, a really cool front porch on it, you know, a lot bigger than, obviously, I've got here on the side. This was just... A building I put together just for the fun of it and see how cheap how cheap I can put all this together and remember this all the whole thing the whole thing costs 750 bucks from inside to outside it doesn't matter everything that I spent on this plus the stain work plus the hammock so I kind of want to duplicate this down at the creek but make it more authentic looking. And of course, with the uh, redneck uh, shitter. Now th this I built several years ago and it's in perfect shape. See, perfect shape. Nothing wrong with this. Lights, it's got all the, all the modern conveniences that anyone could possibly need. If you need to take a dump, there you go. There's your dump. Put your plastic bag in there. Put your uh, cedar chips and poop away. Oh yeah, poop away. <laughs> That's right. Who needs a septic system, man? Okay. Well, now you see kind of what I, where I'm going with this. And this is this building was built out of a lot of scrap too. I mean, it's all scrap. Every deck job I ever do, I save everything I can possibly save. You know, because it's just bottom line, it's, it's lumber, man. And if you, you, you know, you put oil on it and you paint it and you do a little maintenance from time to time, they last. This has been out here a couple of years already. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. So there's a big old stack there. 
big stack there and of course a big stack over there at the shed what do you think now here's the number one problem is this lumber is so dense and so hard I can't use traditional three and a half inch nails I have to I have to go out and buy which I've got a bunch of them is those gigantic old school sinkers uh, that the, the actual nail is six inches long and I've got a bucket full of those. But man, what a bitch that would be hammering and all those big ass nails in this. So I might come up with some sort of screw, uh, some of these modern screws that are, you know, uh, uh, six, seven inches long. They, you know, they, they, they build pole barn buildings with the stuff, you know. So I'm not sure how I'm going to play that one yet. But the big thing is I'm going to create a design and I'm going to, I'm going to figure it out. So, uh, this is all the lumber. Like I said, I, I believe I got plenty. I, I know I got plenty based on, on the redneck in, uh, that hardly took any lumber at all. And really what I need is just to go and buy some treated uh, four by eight sheets of marine grade ply board. So it'll hold up much better down at, uh, you know, in, in the woods down there. Because you definitely want to use as much treated lumber or heart pine lumber as you possibly can to get this whole project started. But what do you think, man? I got a pretty good stack going. Pretty good stack. And I got I to gotta conserve it and save it. So it's all coming in here. I knew this shed was going to have a purpose, and now it's my lumber yard. So this is Tom, Tom's new lumber yard and air drying building. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the new lumber yard out here at the off grid farm. Man, okay, let me get at it. I've got a lot of crap to unload and organize it make it nice and pretty put it all in here get it under the you know out of the weather and start looking for a few other pieces of lumber that i know i'm going to need uh you know siding uh you know definitely uh god what else uh some more roofing material some shingles and four by eights that four by eight sheet supply board and then too i can always and I forgot the name of this. This is that exterior uh, uh, board, you know, they use for siding. There's a name for it, but I forgot what the name of it is. But, you know, get sheets of this. This is what I use for the little, the, uh, the Redneck Inn. Uh, it's just all that's exterior, and it's been looking, you know, sheathing. It's, it's fine. And the lattice, I'll put it to use. Make a little trellis out there or something. Put that, put that to use and get her done. Now... When I put this building together, I, I did it all with new lumber. Everything here is new lumber. And, you know, and it didn't cost that much, but I bought this way, way before, <laughs> way before the prices increased. I, th I think this is the third year it's been out here. So I got the lumber pretty cheap. And then I got to cap off all the exterior here. And I'll probably use that stuff there just to, just to cover all this bare wood. And, 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 you know, just get it, get it to where it's not so uh, exposed. That's right, exposed. We can't have the lumber exposed. <laughs> All right, guys, let me get out of here. Let me get back to work. It's a beautiful day. Uh, finished up a small job first thing this morning. Uh, great couple, and they've already approved. Uh, when they come back from New York, I'm going to paint the exterior of their house. Power wash it and then paint it. And it's neglected. It's 20 years old. And they already approved the numbers and everything. So I start that job on the 24th. And I'm still waiting for the contracts from the hospital. Uh, they've, they've, they, let me tell you, they've given me a lot of work and I'm really grateful. Uh, over the last, over the last 30 days, they've given me a lot of work and I'm really grateful. It's all, it's always good, man. Ah, had the, uh, had the trailer over there, moved it back over here and just cleaning all this up, man. And, and, and like I said, I got down there in the back of the property and I've, I, I, I put some work back there, man, put some work back there and I've already cleared, uh, hell let's, 
let's go back here. Remember, I told you uh, when I was out here on the last video about clearing this road? Well, I made it. I finished it. Let's just make this a little bit longer video. Sorry about that. Hope I'm not boring you to tears with this same old, same old information, same old crap. You know, this is, this is a blog. Remember? This is a blog. It's just crap I do every day. And uh, I dig it. It's fun. You know, it has, it has its rewards. It keeps me busy. It keeps me moving. And, you know, at my age, I need to always keep moving. But here, here, here we go. We're getting, coming up to it. And also cleaned up over here by the creek on this side, too. So that, that really turned out really good, too. Ah, but here we go. And in fact, I, I said I had a couple more hours of work worth to do. Oh, two more hours worth of work I still had to do before I left when I shut down that last video. But been making big progress back here. All right, here's the road. Now, I got a still grade right in here, just this little spot, because it's got grass in here. So I, I left the grass alone, but. Here we go. It starts from here. And this is pro approximately about 300 feet long, I think. I didn't measure it, but I think it's about 300 feet long. Cut a little slot in there. Definitely cleared through there. But you can see how wide this is too really wide I wanted to be that way I hate little narrow roads they just they, they just don't make no sense and I got a lot of compacting to do but the big thing was scraping it and getting it getting it to where uh, the grade the shape the width and the length were all there okay and work the hell out of this side over there. And I'll and I'll show you a little spot where I think I'm putting the the little cabin. I I I've just kind of made up my mind about it. But as you can see, now that's that big berm. I'm working the hell out of this berm. Push a lot of dirt right through here. So this is starting to look a lot better already. And there we go. And of course, right back there is the property line. Okay, cool. Now, here is where I think I'm putting the cabin. Right there. There's a nice little tree there. I got the cypress, which will give me a lot of shade. I'll trim it up a little higher. And that'll look good. It's got a nice little curve to it, so it's kind of interesting. There's a, pop, a big poplar right there. And then my rock pile, which I'll put to use. Uh, and, and, and fire pit. And you can see I'm building a little, little bench out here. You know, just throwing some ideas together, not trying to get crazy, rush into anything, but just get things started. And, uh, but you can see it's, it's really, really been cleared out. Looks a lot better. I mean, I can come back here with a weed eater and literally knock down all this other little crap. But there it is. Okay. Well, there, there's the agenda. There's the plan. This is finally cut. I've got a little bit more grading to do. Uh, there's some lumps and bumps in here. See, just lumps and bumps cut. You know, this all nice and flat and taper it this way, obviously, for water runoff. But the road is the road is finally in. And since it hasn't rained here in a while, I can actually drive back here today. If I wanted to come back here with my Ford, because I do have differential lock on it, easy, easy to come back here now. And I don't have to worry about getting my tires stuck with, you know, little little twigs and crap. Uh, that was the other concern is getting a flat back here. That would really suck. 
that would really suck. <laughs> Doing field maintenance, field mechanics, I don't want to do that. I'm going to try to avoid that mess. But then, again, and I know this is a long video, but like I said, I, I started getting my ass in gear and decided that uh, I need to finally do something with this land back here. And it'll only make it more valuable once it's developed and it's all cleaned out and it's looking good. You know, that kind of stuff. And then, like I said, I came down through here. Really, now this is a huge washout in here. I mean, a massive washout. So, trying to build this washout up and, 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 and really just clean this up a little bit is always, it's like make constant maintenance because water is going to carve its way through here. So I got a mess right here. But here we go. I started cleaning this corner up right here where my little bridge is. And you can see I'm just pushing everything into the ditch. Just trying to fill it all in on the back side here, just on the back side. I got my little pond started up here. I need to do a lot of work on it. I mean, it's holding water, but it leaks out constantly. So it's not really of any true value, but I, I've got, I got probably some frogs and minnows in there. I know there's a lot of lot, not a lot, uh, little bit of uh, life in there. Now, whether or not I've got any largemouth bass <laughs> or, or blue uh, uh, brim or uh, what is it? I'm not a freshwater guy, so what is it? Bluegill and brim? Yeah, bluegills and brim. <laughs> Here we go. But once I get this all worked out and figured out, the water should, I want the water level to be up to here and stay that high. It's going to take some work because obviously I've got to fix all this crap right here. All right. That's enough ranting and raving about the off-grid farm and what I want to do, what I should do, what I have to do. <laughs> all the to-do list, right? Honey-do list is what I've got to do. One day at a time, man. Just one day at a time. But the big thing is, is now that the plan is in motion, I can I feel a sense of purpose doing this and getting this started. And, uh, you know, even if I half-ass it along the way, I got no more time. It'll get done. Hell, I fixed the top of the hill. I put in all this fencing. You know, I, did, I thought that was going to be, you know, a forever project. But I got it done. So there you go. All right, guys, well, I'll leave you with this. Y'all stay tuned, stay blessed, subscribe, smash the bell for future notification, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Time out of here.